What's up, party people? It's your boy Crazy Al Kane, SugarCane.com, CAC TV, up here at the Jetline, which suffered some serious damage because we had like four days of some serious crazy rain. This is the day after, and surprisingly, it's not too bad as far as being muddy or wet. There's only one real wet spot. The broom here is all messed up. Nobody let me know, so. We have a messed up broom, so I had to go and get a broom. It's a Sunday, so I got here so early on a Sunday, none of the stores were open. So I decided to just use the rake as a broom today. I started working on a berm. I found a big old boulder in the berm. And unfortunately, right behind that boulder must be a beehive because I started digging it out. And next thing you know, a bee came over and stung me in my ear. So there was that that happened today. We got the chipmunks out today. I don't know if you can see them, but the chipmunks are out. I don't know if you can see it, but there's bees going in and out the berm right behind where this brick is. So I left that alone and moved on to working on some other stuff. I don't know what people were doing with this broom to break it, but they broke it. So this thing was all destroyed. This was like a pretty expensive broom too, but I left that here for people to use to uh, keep the place clean. So I started cleaning up all the acorns. As you can see, more acorns have fallen since, since I started, which was early, early, early today, but we got more acorns that have fallen down. This will have to get worked on, but right now the name of the game is just getting it cleaned up, getting it runnable. But I did get to work on this part here. This jump had a lot of ruts and stuff in it, so I, I redid this one, resurfaced it, packed, packed it down. Still a little soft, but you know, it's rideable, it's a public space, you can't expect it to be perfect. This roller table jump right here also had some ruts in it, a couple of bumpy spots. So I did this over, resurfaced that a little bit. And as you remember, I talked about the berm needing some love. I gave it a little bit of love, not much. Kind of patched it up a little bit. After this jump right here, when you come down, it was really, really bumpy. I was able to smooth it out a little bit. So this should be a lot smoother when you come around this way and the rest of the stuff is pretty much the same just cleaned it up took all the stuff off this side of the jump is falling apart so I'm gonna have to build this part back up I did patch it up a little bit right here this is kind of like where I, I left off at but I patched up some of the ruts that were here patched up some of that patched up some of that and then also worked on the lip which is very wet right now so gotta let the Sun hit that but just did some patchwork to get that uh, running again this slip right here was really beat up really really beat up so I uh, patch this up a little bit now that I actually have a broom hopefully it'll speed this process up I'm gonna be cleaning all this up so it's acorns and leaves and stuff like that so once you sweep it up it's gonna look nice so I'm gonna get busy right now So we're at the final straight, straight number five. This jump right here lasted for a really long time. It definitely needs some TLC now. And as you can see the rest of the line though, man, it's looking real ugly. I'm gonna sweep it up and see what we got underneath. Hopefully it'll look better than it does now. Drainage that we have here actually worked out except for when it got to here started accumulating and it ran off to the side there but it didn't leave a crazy rut like it would have if it ran from up there but the rest of this guy man oh man it's a little beat up as you can see all the sand from up top just accumulates in this hole which blocks the drainage that'll make the water run across over that way makes a rut in here takes off a nice little chunk of the section all of this got damaged from the rain dripping from the trees up there they come down, they land, it's like, it's like grenades hitting the jumps. And look, a whole chunk of this lip got obliterated because the water coming out of here had nowhere else to go. It just followed where it needed to go and it just took the rest of this lip with it. Here is the drainage pipe here, but it's so much sand that comes out, it blocks it. The next thing you know, you're in trouble. 
I'm gonna sweep up the rest of this. This line here got pretty damaged. This tree right here just dripped on this. So you have a whole bunch of bullet holes and craters in here. I'm gonna try and sweep this up and hopefully get to patching some things up before the day ends. Finished sweeping up the spot. It has a lot of spots I need to get some love. Like this double here, the landing. Ooh, beat up. But the main line, which actually comes this way, looks relatively decent. Lip looks okay. I have to take some of the sand out right here. Because right now you kind of dip before you hit it. So I have to make this more flowy. So when you hit that, it's nice and beautiful like it usually is. The rugs protected the lips. So those are good. But down here, boy oh boy, these lips right here need some serious help. Underneath all of this is just sand. This whole hill is rocky sand. So once the clay gets wet and that goes away, then the rocks show up again. Actually, this thing we built from scratch. So pretty much all inside there is dirt. But this stuff over here is just part of the sand, part of the uh, actual hill, which is sand. This is patched up a little bit. Good for now. This lip right here is battered. That's patched up now. Step up into the last jump. Well, the last jump basically, which is the step up. I actually kept the rock in here because it's gotta be some kind of beehive underneath that right behind the rock. I left the rock there and just added some dirt. Patched up some stuff on the berm here. Patched up. The roll it into the berm, patch the all of those down there. Hopefully it'll ride a little better than it normally does because it's been bumpy for a while. And uh, do a little sweep up on the berm and then maybe I'll get to do a lap. Pretty much swept up the whole place, patched up a bunch of stuff. It should ride pretty decently. It's not gonna rain for a couple of days, so this will all dry up and be nice. And then it's gonna rain again. And it'll probably, hopefully won't be a crazy rainstorm where it'll do too much damage to the spot. That's how it is, public space, you know what I mean? So this is what we got done. We swept up the whole place, did some resurfacing on some of the lips and some of the landings to make your journey a little smoother around this joint. Did all of this today. Smooth that out, smooth that out. Patched up the berm a little bit. Didn't get a chance to ride it. It's probably still bumpy, of course, but it looks better than it did when I got here today. So that's a good look. Did this, swept up all of this. This needs to get worked on. Cleaned all this out right here. Didn't get to work on this part, but I did work on the jump after it. And I also worked on that guy. Smoothed all this stuff out. This has some really bad ruts and holes in it. So that's taken care of for now. Did some work on the berm here. Patched up some of the holes, but not all of them. Redid this whole thing and just made it smoother. Has a better flow to it. It's not as bumpy coming into the berm. So that's cool. Uh oh, uh oh. Yeah. This has to get built up again, but I did fill in this little piece right here, which is pretty bad. Patched up the landing. <laughs> patched up the landing. Patched up this landing. Patched up the lip. Need to get a rug on that so it doesn't keep getting destroyed. Patched up this lip. Somebody was digging out this jump to fill in certain spots, but that's not good because this needs as much dirt as possible so it doesn't erode away. Filled this in here because it was real bad. Didn't get a chance to work on this side of the lip. But the tarp protects this part, so this is still the same. Patched up the landing here, but all of this stuff is still kind of funky. This needs to get dug out a little bit because uh, the sand built up, so now you have a dip before you hit the lip. So that needs to get worked on. Patched this up. This had a bunch of little holes and ruts and stuff in it, so made this a little smoother, a little patchy patch job. Worked on mega hip lip. I'm not sure how it's going to take you now. Might have a little more boost to it. Who knows? Gotta ride it to find out. Patch that up, so that should be better. I didn't get to smooth that out, so that's a little bumpy, but 
Should be alright. It looks the same as it usually does. All this has to get redone, but it should be doable. Then we come down here. I cleaned this up. I didn't work on this roller at all, so this needs to get fixed up. I just swept everything off of there. We have the rest of the last straight. Swept up everything here, and then I worked on trying to smooth out some of these lips. So, you know, just kind of took out some of the ruts to make it smoother when you roll them. I smoothed that one out. My man over there on the, on the mountain bike, he's jumping it nice right now. Full suspension. Whoa, yeah! <laughs> Cleaned this up, filled the rut in over here. Yeah, that was sick. <laughs> that was sick. This guy patched that up, and that's pretty much it. Just swept up the rest. So, what's your name, bro? Alejandro. Alejandro. I'm yeah. Al, too. So, all right. Got Al and Al oh. representing. Bring out your full sus, get busy. If you can <laughs> rock on the full sus, good, like he can. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, it's gonna be nice this week, so come out and ride it before it rains again. Then we'll have to do this all over. <laughs> all right, so Alejandro is about to hit these doubles right here. He's gonna hit that one too. I'm gonna try and run next to him since I got the uh, 360 camera. Get a nice little action shot here. Yeah! <laughs> nice, nice, nice. Thank you, bro. All right. All right, so we got documented. Like I said before, if you have the skills, if you have the skills, you can ride a full sus here. If you don't have the skills, you got to get the skills first before you can try to attempt that on a full sus, all right? He got skills, so he can do it. <laughs> all right, this is Alan. This is Crazy Al Kane, and I'm out. Say back to you, Billy. Back to you, Billy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs>